surfing in the 60s, it was, um, surfers had that stigma of, you know, they don't want to work, they don't want to have jobs, they just want to surf, they just want to be free, you know, they're just these spiritual souls that just want to surf the ocean all the time. Thinking you're going to get drafted and pulled away for two years, it's like, <laughs> inland, I'm not going to surf, I'm not going to see the ocean. It, uh, it played havoc with a lot of people's lives. I had no time for wars. It, it just was something that wasn't even in my uh, agenda. I see the fire through the trees, hear the hollows through the breeze, drowning out the seasons like there's none. Hold the blue still in my hands, moving my feet over land, while I'm thinking, God, I've got a gun. But I wasn't into going over there, I'm going to go over there and just kill everybody. It's like, that wasn't the issue. It's like, okay, just get into it and see where it takes me. The only thing I wanted to do was come home and surf. And I figured if I didn't have my arms and legs, then I can't surf, so there's no reason for me to come back. Even though I got out of the draft and everything else, I felt like the Vietnam War had dumped this huge load on top of me, and I was just stuck to it. And I was trying to get all this stuff off. No, I didn't feel free at all. I felt, I felt like I was in shackles. Surfers will always find a way to play, no matter where they are. You know, they want that experience. Didn't think, oh gee, where am I? And I'm in Vietnam, and it is, none of that, it's just, just natural. All, all that mattered was dropping in, catching a wave, and, and making a bottom turn, and, and it was just exhilarating. Stuck in mud and no man's land, resting easy in the sand, smelling that great ocean and the wind. Oh, here we go, with nothing you know. What a rush, what a ride, either way, I'm far between the lines. I'm far between the lines. Either way, I'm far between the lines. Spiritually, I was stronger. And that's why I didn't go. When I was in Vietnam, I said, when I go home, I'm going to grow my hair long and I'm not going to cut it. And I want to surf until I die. <laughs>